Hello and welcome to Patio Plays Day of the Tentacle. In the last episode, we... Well, we kind of tricked Dr. Fred by letting him fall asleep and that way he sleepwalked to, uh, to a safe and opened it and closed it and then we used the camera system to find out what the combination was. And now he got um, escorted upstairs by the by some government guys and we're gonna try to find out what's going on there but talking of, of sleepwalking the common question of this video is if you were to sleepwalk what what would, we, what would you do or if you do sleepwalk what have you done before I've never sleepwalked at least not that I'm aware of so <laughs> I'm not sure what I would do probably go play video games all right, so let's go get upstairs. Dude, you're more athletic than you look, definitely. So let's see, whoa, what happened to him? Look at, why is he so red? Seems to have a high tensile strength. Okay, how do we get him out of there? Open? It doesn't seem to open. Can we talk to him? Talk. Oh, talk to rope doesn't work. Okay. Um, but um, but um, can we maybe use the crowbar? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. How about a fork? I'd rather not. Well. Use rope. Oh, cool. Nah. Wait. Use rope. I don't think I can do that. Hmm. Okay. Pull. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> what? What is he covered in? Look at Doctor Fred. He's all wrapped in red tape. That's weird. Hmm. Can we talk to him? Dr. Fred must still be asleep. Okay. I guess, um, maybe we can use the rope with this thing here. No, wait. The pulley or the flagpole? No, the pulley. Maybe we can like lower him down. Or, ooh, wait, I have an idea. Gotta check something downstairs. Wasn't there this <laughs> mummy dude downstairs? Oh. Out. Ha! Huh. What a coincidence. Okay. Use um rope for I this. I don't think I can do that. No, not with the that dude. Not with a bird feeder or whatever it is. What the hell? Okay. But he's not red. Didn't we have red paint? Wait a second. Hey horse, what's up, Bojack? Um, where the paint at? Red paint. All right, got that paint. There we go. Looks just like Ted him. Is red. See red Ted. Ha! <laughs> You're such a genius in word plays. What is this? Contract. Alright, so we go back upstairs and let's see if we're strong enough to pull that shit. Let's pull that shit off. Oh boy. Good thing he's not alive.
Oh, conveniently enough, he's inside. Uh, now we gotta... Wait, rope? No, we don't... If we pull on that, we probably pull him back down. Uh, good thing there's a shortcut here. Okay. Can we, like... Walk to bed. Use... Rope with Dr. Fred? Oh. Uh oh. Hey. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. I can see this bed through the peephole, you know. Dang it. Okay. That almost worked. Can we go talk to those dudes? Uh huh, better not. Okay, maybe we pick up Ted. I wouldn't know where to put him. Well, on the bed, you dumbass. Um, use Ted with bed. Oh boy. Hmm, thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Yep. <laughs> I'll try and keep it down, okay? Oh, that was close. Okay. <laughs> so now we can use the rope with Dr. Fred. Please don't put it around his neck. And... We go back down to the rope downstairs. <laughs> Jesus, all this walking up and down and up and down. That is tiring. Bet you nerd haven't done as that much exercise in a while. Um, pull the rope. I don't think that will do much good from here. What do you mean? Oh, crap. Do I have to go back up? What the crap? Okay. Man. I'm almost tired and I'm just sitting in front of a computer. From all this walking up and down. Okay, now pull that... Pull that sucker. Oh, he's no, gonna jump. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Ow. <laughs> that poor guy. Uh oh. Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? Sure. I got him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Well, he just fell from the roof. What do you think? What do you expect? Okay, how about the exploding cigar? No, that won't do any good. Um, didn't we? Oh, didn't we have like decaf coffee and normal coffee? Let's just give him that. I might slosh it all over his face. So what? <laughs> he's he's asleep. Who cares? Okay. How about that? And that's hot. That's gonna burn his mouth. Dude! <laughs> Are you okay? Damn good coffee! Finally, you're awake. Now let's talk to you. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Well then, read it. 
Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Are you serious? What the hell? Okay. Um, what else do we have here? We have that contract. What is this? Flyer? What does it say again? I, I forgot. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. <laughs> that sounds like something Hoagie could use. Let's give it to him. Oh, really? Okay. But anyways. Um... What about the contract? It's in a letter. Can we, like... Did that work? Okay, cool. So... If we send... No. What if we go back in time and send it to him and then he... Maybe... Maybe he reads it. I don't know. It's worth a try. All right. Um so we go to the to the to the post box. Why why is it so far away from the post box? Hey mummy. <laughs> I just painted you red and killed you. If you haven't hadn't been already dead. Okay, um, where do we got that? Here. Let's try that. I don't wanna. No, not mailbox flag. Mailbox. This is no good. It isn't signed. What the hell? Okay. Hmm. So let's give it back to him. Oh, oh, no. Huh. Maybe... Wait, one more try. Let's try to give it to Mr. whatever his name is. Downstairs. Maybe he'll sign it. I mean, he's got the... I don't wanna. Okay. Anyways, um... What else can we do? Was worth a try. Um... I have no idea. Maybe we can talk to the Founding Fathers again? Oh, that's right. Let's try that. Well, that worked. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. <laughs> Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. <laughs> Those What's sheep. He thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? <clears throat> he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Well, that's cool. Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. 
It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. <laughs> no? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. Cool. <laughs> we just added something. Ooh. Can we take that? Hey, keep your hands off that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Um I think we changed enough for one day. Um Let's give it a rest for now and come back in the next episode. Thank you for watching this has been Patio playing Day of the Tentacle. Where did you get that food from though? Dude, that's loud. How rude. All right. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.